Hello, good morning everyone. Uh, those who are listening to me, uh, I'm Arun Vijay and uh, I'm going to teach you, uh, talk to you to the next few minutes to teach you another to digital conversion and pick. First, uh, let me introduce you to the tools that we're going to use. The first tool that we're going to use is MicroCP Compiler, the uh, freeware, and uh, the next uh, tool is uh, Ocean Shop Pick Simulator. So let's get started by programming directly. Uh, uh, you open the compiler and go to projects and uh, start new project and type in the name that you would like to. I'd like to uh, type as ADC and con and uh, save it in a location. I will save it in the desktop. And then uh, you can select the device that you want and uh, there are lots of thousands of uh, hundreds of thousands of picks available in the catalog. Uh, I'm selecting Pix 6587 A, which is my one of my favorites, and uh, uh, I'm going to select the clock value as 20 megahertz. You can choose any whatever you want. Anywhere between 1 to 20 would work fine. And the next thing is the configuration bits. If you know about it, you can set them manually, or uh, if you're not sure what those really mean can just click default and then uh, click ok and uh, let's start uh, let's get started start programming it's hanging hang on a minute it's hanging yeah now uh, it's a good always a good practice to declare global variables. Now I'm uh, declaring global volumes unsigned int. Uh, let's call it ADC underscore val. Now let's go go directly into the main program, void main, and open close braces. The first register that we are going to declare is uh, adcon one is equal to zero x. 0 0 uh, adcon 1 0 x 0 0 sets the k2d uh, as 8 bit converter and uh, it selects all the channels as inputs a2d inputs I've given you the table in my site uh, to select this bit and uh, the next is uh, press a is equal to 0 xff it selects the Pins of put A as inputs. Next thing that we're going to use is stress B is equal to 0 x 0 0. It makes the stress uh, B as sorry, put B as uh, output. Uh, the pick doesn't have an operating system, so we should have at least one while one loop inside our uh, microcontroller. Next thing. Uh, yeah, we'll get start programming. We'll use ADC underscore uh, uh, val to get the uh, input inside. ADC underscore uh, type in ADC underscore val is equal to the input function called read underscore ADC. Uh, inside the bracket, you can uh, select the channel that you want. Anywhere between zero to seven will work fine and uh, adc underscore var is equal to adc underscore read the channel number S uh, let's take for example uh, say channel 2 we'll read the channel 2 and uh, port b is equal to adc underscore val uh, yeah that's a simple program what i'm going to do is uh, we're going to read the adc value from channel 2 and uh, output it at the port b then uh, this button what you see here uh, is the compile button when you click it uh, the program compiles just wait for a s wait for a few seconds the program will be compiled when it's compiling we'll, say, uh, we'll see a small window opening and uh, showing the progress yeah there it is and after compiling you'll see a success message at the bottom you see success and the percent and uh, use ram rom uh, get 
this message is when you have uh, compiled successfully next part is you're going to simulate using pick simulator already opened it and open it and uh, you can use file uh, you can just explore around the menus and can you select microcontroller to view microcontroller sorry uh, to view the microcontroller and uh, clear the memory and then load the program the hex code will be directly visible and uh, you know, click start We'll see the program running there. We'll uh, we'll select select a channel to remember, and then go to channel two and then select one. Uh, we we're setting the A to D value as one. Let's see what we get. It'll uh, take some time to convert because uh, the simulator is somewhat slow. Also, uh, uh, yeah, that you see, we got one. And uh, we're setting the maximum value now. That's two fifty five. Remember, we set it as 8-bit converter, so the maximum value is going to be 255. If we select it as 10-bit, it's going to be 1023. Yes, we will give some random value. There, you see the output for 100. That's how easy it is. Yeah, that is all for for now, and uh, hope uh, you found this tutorial useful. Uh, comment uh, if you.